Hello everyone and welcome back to The Last Door. So, this is chapter 2, part 3. And I'm wondering what I need to do. This teardrop. I think it's a teardrop like a fake teardrop that they used to put in uh, paintings and such to make it look like um, they were actually crying. I think Leonardo da Vinci used that. Oh, I've placed the glass tear in the hollow of the Virgin's cheek. It seems that it fits perfectly. In the eyes of a servant, David fervent devotee it could look like a real tear well this is a fervent devotee I think well I don't think she saw it maybe if I reflect it to her in her eyes uh, oh I'm reflecting the sun in it The mother is crying. Oh my lord, what does it mean? What have I done? What have we done? Okay, so now we can help this guy. Great. Oh, great. Mm. You, you must help me. What can I do? What's wrong with you? There is little time. Tell them about my pain. I describe the unbearable and endless pain, they, yet they do not listen. They pass me by without even looking at me. They say that they're praying for me, but it doesn't kill my ailment. But sir, I... I know, but I beseech you. You'll be saving me from a horrible torture. You will be eternally in debt with you. I will be... I guess I can find the courage to help you. I understand the magnitude of what I'm asking. <laughs> God bless you, sir. I don't know how I can show you my gratitude. What I need you to do is, without a nun's noticing, to try and get an amount of morphine enough so, so that I can be embraced by the deepest of dreams and in that way stop the rhythm of my heart. So, I need to give him anesthetics. Ugh. Well, that's kind of creepy. I hope there's a good reason for it. So, the morphine was up in here. Huh? Oh! Uh, Sir, so she's praying. Want to talk to her? Uh, Sir, so she's praying. Okay. So now we can pick up the morphine. Let's go give it to the strange guy. Oh no, it's the other way. It sort of confuses me that the hall isn't this way and the door is on the left. But I guess it makes a turn. What the. He's gone. Baldwin lies. What the frick? That's just... What the fuck? In here. Can we open the? Oh, no! Oh, it's a toolbox. It looked like a iron machinery or something. Uh, let's talk to Baldwin. 
Tell me about once and young. Can't rightly see. <laughs> Thought I'd hear this. Huh? What the frick? So he doesn't have anything. How do we distract him? We hit him with a log. Oh. Do we use morphine on him? Or do, do we need to talk to him and then try to take this? Oh, tell me about this place. Tell me about Aberdeen. It was the place where I was born and raised, one of the biggest cities in Scotland. Oh, so now he looks away. Great. What about Mother Elizabeth? Hmm, okay. So leave you with your work and let's open this coffin because this is kinda of creepy. I hope there isn't this jump scare in here. Oh my god. This creepy music. Oh, she's gone, so now we can enter. And uh, I'm preparing for a jump scare. The door is locked. Anything in here? Uh. Oh, the large part of the key. Okay, that's uh, three, two, one. Ooh, what? Don't look into his eyes. Have you got the mirror? Ooh. Deepest darkness. Is that a... I think that's a crow. And the moment I pass will be Oh my goodness. Eye of the bird. So... Wait. There. Uh. A lot of crucifixes, and this is going to be scary, I guess. Prepare. Oh. Lord, rise, burn me. I don't deserve mercy or forgiveness, O oh Lord. Have mercy on my soul. Who are you to send to me? Is that the home you are handing me over? Is my hourglass already run out of sand? Father Ernest? Ernest, it's been years since I lost her that name. Since, oh. Father, I'm here to, aim to be able to remember. You have to help me, I beg you. Please, entries, petition, praying, torment, exception. Past times bring us misfortune and pain. Father Ernest, I, w I was one of your students. One of my old students, you say? It's only the Lord who teaches us. We all must follow his ordinances and disciplines. Get close to sun. Come pray next to me. What do we do now? 
Hit him with a log. No. Give him morphine. Glory to be, be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as was beginning, and now is now, and sh never shall be. Now, my son, the Lord, which is one is his voice, the sharp sword, the wise killed, the delicate petal. The wise quail. Oh my goodness, I think I'm going to be eating my crows. Uh, endless blame? Now my son, hello, who are you? The face of Spalgrim, the gate guard, or the lost seaman? I am a lost seaman. Go back in there. So we have one year a little time. Oh, can we just give him morphine? That should get him. We're hit him with a log. Oh, we can open the dormitories with those razors, I think. Well, let's have him send this out. I think there are more crows. I don't know. Let's go up here. Let's go in there. Oh, another memory. And finally, our expert in philosophy, Jeremiah Deffitt, shows up. Where are you, my friend? We've been looking for you. Well, as I was saying, tonight is the perfect moment for our next meeting, but I expect that someone outside our group is secretly surveilling us. Who is it, Anthony? My dear friends, it's Professor Glenn. Do you mean Father Ernest? Certainly, no doubt about it. Therefore, your college 
I have decided to change the venue for a nice meeting. Have you noticed the lounge behind the small door for the dining room? I have believed convenient to borrow the key for our necessities. You already know that at 12 o'clock you'll find that the door open and you'll be inside the lounge. That's it, my dear colleagues. Videte ne kuyeskiet. Which one was his bed? Because I think he hid the key somewhere around here. Blackney. What we are trying to decide here is who of us will have the pleasure to meet you up. <coughs> Mr. Rabbit really scared, it said, but I don't want to be eaten. I want to live. <sighs> to which Mr. Snake answered smiling. That's impossible to happen, Mr. Rabbit, since we all both, you and us, are going to die sooner or later. Don't you think so? Mr. Vulture added, Mr. Snake is right. We should stick to the issue at hand. It's getting late, and as you see, we do not agree. Do you want to help us decide, Mr. Rabbit? Who would you suggest as the one to eat you? After thinking about it for a while, Mr. Rabbit came up with an idea and carefully said, I got it. Why don't we organize a race? The first who arrives to the forest clearing will have the privilege to eat me. No doubt Mr. Wolf can run at high speed, Mr. Vulture can go flying and avoid any obstacle. And I'm sure that Mrs. Snake knows all the shortcuts within the forest. I guess the competition is balanced. What do you think? Uh, I'm pretty scared, that's what I think. The three predators agreed that it was fair, so they started the race and they could disappeared. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Rabbit, happy to trick them, started running at high speed in the opposite direction of the predators who, eager to prove their worth, didn't realize the trick. I think I'm going to be eaten now. Mr. Rabbit was far away from there, and he finally felt safe, happy, and proud of his cunning. But suddenly there was a loud bang. The earth shook, frightening birds flew, and everything went dark. The end.
dream. How long have I been sleeping? What was all that about? In the nightmare, I found a place, a place in my memories. Well, as always, David. Now that all remains is to endure our guests, you may come in now, Professor. Father Ernest. Do, do not worry, my friend. I have invited him to join us in this evening. The Professor generally shares our curiosity, and who better to complete our group than one of the most renowned theologists? Moreover, we should, mustn't ban those who are willing to explore beyond the veil. Won't we have a long... I have long awaited has now arrived. Please, all of you, take a seat and we shall begin the procedure. Soon shall the door be open and then we may finally see what lies beyond. Now I ask you that you close your eyes. You will feel a momentary prick as I inject you with the serum. The damnness. We opened that which could not be opened. In doing so, we sworn the veil that separated our world from his. In seeking vision, we were ourselves seen by the eye of the bird. The eye of the bird saw us, it remembers us, it looks for us, it calls us from its darkest net, dark nest, from its abnormal lair. All these years I have attempted to return to it, but I have not no strength left. These poor wretched creatures are no are too fragile. They like the side to return. Not one of them has returned, only us, the four witnesses. They disappeared as you did. I haven't heard from any of you, but I was seized by curiosity. It absconded with my faith and deprived me of sanity. O oh Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned. Nothing remains, all that is left is surrender. Surrender to him gravely every sin, and now our only absolution is to burn. To burn in the flames. Oh my. Malum in se. Uh, I think I'm gonna see it. 
Oh, we're in the coffin. Oh, we're in a grave. So these are all descriptions done by donators. So if you want to describe anything, any of these paintings, you can donate. I think it's 15 or 25 euros or dollars. And then you have the game plus something extra, I think. And uh, this description. Thing. So, I'll be waiting for chapter 3. You can see the funding is in progress. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!